Aquarium, we're going to import call detail records. And in the process, we're going to clean the phone numbers. We're going to specify different color links based on whether it's a voice or an SMS transmission. We're going to wind up with a link chart. We're also going to convert that link chart into a theme line or a timeline chart. So let's go ahead and import the call detail records. So we're going to click import, import from file. We're going to open the Excel file so that we can see what kind of records we've got in there. So in this case, we've got a date and timestamp. We've got the caller number and the call number. We want to strip out all the brackets, the plus symbols, and deleting ones, spaces, and dashes. We're also going to use this service type column, and we're going to specify a different line color based on whether it's a voice or SMS. So we're going to close up this spreadsheet and we're going to import our call detail records. We're going to create a new specification, click OK. We're going to select the worksheet, click Next. We're going to specify that we're going to extract the column headers from row 1. Next. At this point, we're going to proceed to clean the data. So we're going to create two new columns. One column called caller and a second column called called and we're going to base it on the caller number and the call number. So we're going to click new. I'm going to call this caller. We're going to base it on the caller number. Click OK. And we're going to do the same thing for the called number. Called based on the called number and click OK. We're going to scroll over to the right. Those are our two new columns, caller and called. We're also going to add a new column based on the service type. So we're going to click New. We want to call this link, link, color. We're going to base it on service type. So these are our three new columns. We're now going to proceed to clean up the caller and the called columns. So we're going to select the caller column. The first thing we want to do is remove the characters. So we're going to select remove characters. And then we're going to specify I want to remove the spaces and remove other characters. And we're going to specify what characters those are. So that would be the open bracket. And as you notice, it's removed the open bracket. I'm going to select the close bracket and you'll see this remove the close bracket. I've already removed the spaces here. So the only other characters I'm going to remove are the dashes, as well as some of the numbers will might have a plus in the beginning. So we're going to remove the plus symbol. And then the next thing that we're going to do is if there's any numbers that have a leading one, we're going to remove those as well. So we're going to use the remove prefix action and we're going to bring that over and we're going to remove the one prefix if it exists. We're going to click on to the called and we're going to do exactly the same thing. So we're going to remove characters. We're going to remove the spaces and the two brackets, dash and a plus. And then we're going to remove the prefix one. And then we're going to move on to the link color. In this case, the action we want to apply to this is a replace value. Because what we want to do is we want to replace the value of SMS and change that to say blue. And then we're going to do it again in order to replace the second value, which is voice. And we're going to replace that with red. 
So essentially, you'll see here that wherever it said voice, it'll be red, and wherever it said SMS, it'll say blue. There you go. So now we finished cleaning it up. We're gonna go next. We're gonna display this as a link chart initially. So we're going to select the network of telephone calls and we're going to click next. So in this case, what we're going to do is simply drag the caller number in our first entity and our called number in our second entity. It's going to display the numbers just like this. So what we want to do is I actually want to label it using these columns. So I'm going to select my caller entity and I'm going to drag the caller number into the label. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the second entity. I'm going to use the called number and use it as the label. Now I'm going to select the link. What I want to do is I want to specify the link color. So I'm going to drag that down into type. The direction of the calls will be from the caller to the called, as you see by the arrow symbol here. Source to destination. And now I'm going to populate the date and time for these. So I'm going to scroll over to the left and I'm going to grab the timestamp and I'm going to drag it to the date. And because they separate the date and the time, I'm going to drag the date and timestamp into the time portion. The date will strip out simply the date portion and the time will strip out just the time portion. Another thing that I want to do is I want to actually store the duration. So in this case, I'm going to go to the Attributes tab and I'm going to create an attribute of duration called Duration. I'm going to change the type to a numeric value. And here's the key. Because it's a numeric value, it will aggregate if you've got multiple calls for our analysis. So I'm going to drag that duration into the value. And now I'm done. What I might want to do is if there's any multiple calls between the same numbers, what I wanted to do is I wanted to generate a specific card for that call. So I'm going to make sure I create the cards, but I want a separate card for each instance of that record. So I'm going to remove this merge cards. I don't want it to put it all in one. I want a specific card for every call. So at this point, I'm going to take the date and time stamp and I'm going to put it under the date and then drag it to the time. Now it's done. The description is going to have all the columns in the record. So I'm going to go next. And you'll notice I've got a warning here. And it's telling me that for some reason, this custom format doesn't match our data format. So let's examine and see what might be causing this warning. And there it is. The separators being used for the date is a dash or a hyphen. And the separator here in the custom format is a period. So I'm going to simply change that to a hyphen. And once I've done that, you'll notice that the warning symbols have disappeared. So I'm going to click Next. At this point, I would recommend that you complete this section. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to Import. So I'm going to click Import. And I'm not going to save this, but I would suggest that for you, you save it and name it. So I'm going to click No. And there you go. I'm going to change the visualization 
and change it to a compact peacock so that's easier to actually visualize and you'll notice that you have one SMS call in here. If we want to convert these into a timeline chart, because we use the date and time values, what we can actually do is select all of them by pressing Control A to select all. And then I'm going to go to Style and then select change representation. At this point, I can change it to a theme line and I want to leave it to align the icons. And I also want to add order to all chart items with a date and time. So I'm going to click OK. And now I've got my timeline. Now I'm going to want my phone numbers to the left side. So what I can do is select just the phones All right so I can either individually select them or I can quickly do it using the select ribbon and I'm gonna select my telephones and then I'm simply gonna drag it to the left now you'll notice that they're not evenly distributed so what I can do at this point is arrange them so I'm gonna go to the arrange ribbon and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to space my entities evenly. And there you go. Now, if you wanted to group these, because these right now are evenly spaced between each call, but if you want to group them based on time, then you can select grouped by time. And now you'll notice that if I turn on my time bar, you'll notice that the groupings are by days. So you've got your, uh, or sorry, by time. So you've got your groupings between 1600 to 2300. And then you've got the ones right around midnight. And then you've got the ones in the following day. Hey, if you're getting value out of this video, can you smash that like button? That mean the world to us.